Peace, peace. What's good? After Elemental. This is D Chorus. This is Mubdi. Welcome to Through Our Lens. Okay? So what are we talking about today, y'all? What are we what's up? We're talking about whatever what's on everybody's mind is money. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Man, it's it's too much yeah. I hate that. Money. You know, it's like when you don't have it, you want it. And when when you have it, you you want to flaunt it. But it's it's about not what you cop, but it's also what you keep. So it's about taking money and doing wise things with your money. Talk about that a little more. What you cop, what you keep. What is what is that concept behind that? Meaning that it's you can have a good, great income, but if you you have a lifestyle that exceeds the income that you have, then is 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 you're not you're not retaining anything. You just Spending it and throwing it away. So it's coming in and it's gone. It's going out. So if you you make a, okay half a million dollars and you spend a million dollars, you're still broke. Oh. Well, you're in debt. You're yeah, in debt. Yeah. So, so it's just getting out of debt and living uh, uh, a, not only to say a frugal life, but a healthy life, and doing things good with your money instead of just spending it and spending it on things that would better you instead of just things that will not benefit you at all. Like if you keep on buying stuff that keeps on depreciating in value, then your money is, is receding instead of profiting. So you, you have to think this, buy things that's going to appreciate in value, like assets, real estate, you know, bonds, or you want to get, you know, something that's going to be passed on for generations that you can grow wealth. And we talk about generations wealth. Talk about some some things that might depreciate for people going to understand what depreciation is and, and well, appreciation things that lose value. Well, for one thing, you, you can have well cars, uh, but you know, if you don't if you're not buying like a classic car or if you're not maintaining your car, uh, or even like fashion sometimes they depreciate. You can buy that hot new uh uh jacket that's there's everybody's it's a trend that's happening right now, but everybody's happening. Yeah. But you know, it's like an eight ball jacket, you know what I'm saying? That's his plate. You spend, you spend like you know, uh, five hundred, a thousand dollars to only eight eight ball jacket, but next season is out of style. That's, mm -hmm. you, yeah, I remember it was true religions as far as the pants, um, uh, Mary's. I remember my son came and asked me, "Hey, I want you to charge something for me." So I was like, "All right, let me get the money later on." And when I looked the pants up on Mary's, they was a thousand dollars. So I was like, yo, you gonna give me he said now I'm gonna pay you back in pieces. I said, Well, if you need to pay me back in pieces, then you don't need the pants. Mm. So it's going back to what you're saying about the whole what you make and what you spend. People are not really prioritizing right. the importance of money and, and what it should be spent on. Right. Why do we value certain things above others? Like why is a thousand dollar pants have value? What does that mean that you wear a thousand dollar pants? Like I'm trying to get my screen right around. <laughs> Right. But I mean, people want to be, become hip. They want to be fashionable. I understand that. We make things hip. We make things fashionable. But you don't have to break your pockets to be in, 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 in fashionable or being hip. You know what I'm saying? Because we can make things cool without having to spend a whole bunch of money. You get what I'm trying to say? But what makes things valuable is people. People make things valuable. We say that it's hot. We say that it's it's it's, it's in trend. So it, it's, it's a collective agreement upon something that makes it Cool, but we can collectively agree right. that being uh, smart about your money is cool. So, so, so I just, I, I just gotta, I just gotta open this up because it's, it's kind of funny and it's kind of confusing at the same time. What does a thousand dollar pair pair of jeans do that a fifty dollar pair of jeans can't do? Like I'm trying to understand. nothing. I, well, it, it does, it, does something. It, 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 it does. It, it depends on what generation you're speaking about, right? right. So, for the Gen Zs, it's all about high in fashion, right? Mm -hmm. It's about being cool, mm -hmm. right? So if you have a Mary's or if you have a Nike Tech, right, you kind of consider getting a little money. Consider that. So so people see with this and it's like a status symbol? Status like, symbol. It is a status symbol. Uh, so okay, okay, okay. by having these jeans, it's, it's a status symbol for them. Right, mm -hmm. even though they still living in the projects, still living in impoverished communities, mm -hmm. right? It's still a status symbol of somebody who don't have a Nike Tech or a Mary's on. So if somebody sees somebody with a Mary's, right? I didn't even know this name it a Mary's, and they can have two pieces of lint and a paper clip in their pocket and no money, <laughs> but they're gonna look at them as they're doing better 
than a yeah. person who has on a fifty dollar pair of jeans and a thousand dollars in their pocket. Correct. But that, that's 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 like what Kanye said. I spend a hundred bucks on this just to say you ain't up on this. Right, right. So I mean, of course you you want to be uh you know cool to your peers and right. you want to be you want to be in the know that it, you know what I'm saying. So but don't break yourself or break your pockets for you know just just to try to be. Will have one up on 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 your on your on your people. So that's again values and, and practicality because like, be wise. But people, people who know me, I'm I, I don't like spending money on things that's I don't purpose. see purpose in it, right? Yeah. So so if I'm gonna spend a thousand dollars on jeans, they need to do my taxes, <laughs> and the jeans also have to do investments, and then they have to be bulletproof, and then they have to protect <laughs> me. You know, when they hit you with the police or somebody hit you with batons or anything, they got to protect me and they got to make decisions for me for a thousand dollars. Like, that's my requirement for a thousand dollar jeans. They got to charge my cell phone. They got to do a whole bunch of stuff. But I think what, dude, that's just one part of it, right? Right. Like right. You got some coats that cost three and four thousand dollars, right? For and, a coat that you wear outside. Well, yeah. being, being in the fashion, you know, making fashion, I understand you want to be, you could pay for quality, but. At the same time, you know, you have to have affordability. If you don't, if you can't afford that, you know, if you're making, you know, a, a, a certain amount of income and this is going to break your pockets, you, you, you're saving up just to do this, just to be in, in, in this, this particular fashion, you're hurting yourself financially. So, so are we, just are we as a people doing that? Are we are like, are we, it's, it goes back to, uh, about we lovers. can't afford it. And then we buying stuff for us to look like we got it together. Yeah. Right. But that's, that's, this goes back to loving ourself and having self-esteem. Mm. So, I mean, that, that goes into one of the problems. If you have first know yourself, love mm. yourself. And then, you know, you, you want to be, you want to look nice. You want to dress nice. You want to dress yourself in, in great clothes. But I mean, check yourself for, for a second and do ask yourself why you're doing it. Are you doing it to, uh, you know, just for a status symbol? Or are you doing it for self? Or are you doing it because there's a something internal that's wrong? Mm. I think it could be a combination of all. Um, a lot of people, well, you know, a lot of people grew up not wealthy, right? Mm. So right. when they reach a certain age, they want those things, regardless if it hurts their pockets or not. So you ask, like, what the average person credit score is in our communities is probably not great, right? Um, some of that is due to the parents putting phone phones in their names and small, but others is just and not paying the bill and not paying, paying the bill. bill. But it